Hi, I'm Rachel, a product manager on the Metrics team. Custom metrics enable you to track anything you care about and are an essential part of any observability strategy. But organizations can generate massive volumes of metrics, require effective ways to manage volumes and costs. Today, I'll walk through how to govern your metrics to improve your monitoring efficiently. To help you keep track of metric volumes, Datadog provides out-of-the-box metrics that you can use in dashboards and monitors. You can configure your monitor to alert you when usage exceeds a defined threshold, behaves anomalously, and more. Now that the monitor is set up, you can quickly take action on any unexpected spikes so you can stay within your allocated budget. Another way to proactively monitor metric volumes is through the volume management page. Here, you get visibility into your largest and fastest growing metrics that need your attention. To focus your search, you can attribute metrics to your specific team or service by filtering with tags in the search bar so you're only configuring metrics that you own. From there, you can use the facets on the left-hand side to see which metrics you can safely configure without unintentionally removing visibility your organization actively relies on. For example, you can filter for metrics that haven't been queried in 90 days and aren't used in any asset. When you find a metric of interest, you can open its side panel to investigate further. This provides a detailed breakdown of the metrics tag keys driving spikes in cardinality, so you can exclude them to reduce volumes if needed. Often, spammy and unbounded tags, like label, are the causes of spikes and can be dropped if they are not providing value. Now, you can immediately manage the spike using metrics that limits. Based on insights across thousands of customers, Datadog found that using metrics without limits on unqueried metrics can reduce volumes by up to 70%. Metrics without limits lets you index only the tags you actually query for. In this case, since we have a spiking tag, we can choose to drop it. We can also use the Include Tags option. This provides a recommended allow list of tags based on user activity, so you aren't dropping tags that are actually queried on the platform. For this metric, doing so immediately cuts down the volume to one index custom metric. To scale this process, you can bulk configure multiple metrics by namespace. Similar to the earlier use case, you can choose to either include or exclude tags. But since you're now managing multiple metrics, you have the added option to choose between overriding or keeping existing configurations. When updating the configuration, you can include tags based on which have been queried in the past 30, 60, or 90 days, or by specifying tag keys. While Metrics Without Limits empowers anyone to manage costs, unintentional changes can impact visibility. To prevent these unintentional changes, you can use role-based access permissions to control who can update tag configurations. To do this, you can grant the metrics tag write permission to trusted roles, maintaining better control over who can impact metrics cardinality. Additionally, Datadog provides an audit trail of metrics without limits configurations, so you can attribute every tag configuration to the person who made it. Datadog provides you with the tools you need to effectively manage metric volumes and costs without sacrificing valuable visibility. Thanks for watching. To get started, check out the resources below.